Over the last week, we've spoke with several of the ultra talented people involved in this year's sunscreen film festival. And today is no different. I want to welcome the three behind two of the films featured Sun to Sun and the Human Project. Please welcome in the middle there, Nicole Pace, Spencer Jones and Kevin Garrison. Welcome to all of you. Tired after the weekend? Oh, yeah, it was a lot of fun. <laughs> a lot of fun, a lot of good movies. A lot of good movies. This film festival is known in the Bay Area. Now, all of you are from California, so mm -hmm. flew in for the event. Yeah. And two of the films that everybody's buzzing about were two of yours. Talk about, let's first dive into Sun to Sun. Yeah, um, Sun to Sun is a short film about a father and son talking about uh, a big epidemic, which is the opioid epidemic in the country right now, which is pretty heavy subject matter, but... Um, yeah, I just wanted to shed light on that epidemic and just show how easily it can slip into the average American home and how, you know, dangerous these opioids can be and how addiction can just happen right away unexpectedly and just shed light on that. You know, I, I want to make sure and say kind of your positions. You are yeah. a producer on both the films that we're ready to talk about. Yeah. What, editor, director? Um, I edited Sun to Sun, yes. Edited Sun to Sun and then the cinematographer yes. for both. Yeah. And so with that being said, take us back to when you had this idea for, for making this film. Because again, you saw this epidemic, a lot of people not talking about it still, but you're starting to see more conversations being had. Was that why it was so important? Yeah, so it's definitely not a new epidemic, although you know the figures are getting worse. Mm -hmm. So the writer, Jim Eskimen, um, it's a personal subject to him and he just, was inspired to just shed light on it. Um, so he just wrote this script in 2016 and then brought it to Taron Lexton, the director, and they just were excited to just show everyone how this epidemic is affecting people. And I was able to see the trailer and I want to bring you in. I mean, the look, of course, is, is very raw as one would expect in a, in a film about this kind of topic. What did you want to bring to, to both of these films, if you will, to kind of tell their stories? Because again, Sun to Sun really can hit home for a lot of people and you wanted to, I'm sure, capture that. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, the look of each film is very unique to that film. And uh, Taron and I spoke early on about some of the looks of it and he, and he said, you know, I really want this to feel um, like its own world and something that could be very real to someone and it's it is a very difficult subject for people to address and we wanted to show it in a way that was very raw very real because it is a very raw and real subject to people and it's happening all over the world so we tried to convey that through some of the camera work the lighting and the overall look of the film. Well, I think mission accomplished. And I want to bring up The Human Project, which is the second film that we're referring to here. Human Project, um, the stars never actually filmed together, geographically speaking. Wasn't that kind of a, a unique twist? Explain this a yeah, little bit. Yeah, well, uh, the whole kind of film takes place over a phone call. And, so which interesting. Is, <laughs> that in itself is mind-blowing, right? <laughs> yeah, so I think the, the challenge was trying to keep it interesting for, you know, the 12-minute runtime for, you know, keeping it the whole film, mm -hmm. you know, interesting. So I think visually we tried to accomplish something. Which had to be unique again, kind of <laughs> yeah. going, I mean, I was looking at you there with, uh, with your role in the film. Yeah, well, Spencer told me early on, he said, look, you know, this, these two characters are never in the same place and I, I want to be able to have them exist in the same world and to relate to one another as a brother and sister would, but how are we going to convey that visually? And he had some very unique ideas in the edits and I think people will, will definitely see how that was pulled off, but there was some some very cool and interesting visual trickery that we did to yeah. bring them I like that the visual space. trickery. <laughs> yeah. We, we use visual trickery every day here <laughs> <laughs> Nicole, I want to get your thoughts too on these films. I mean, both of these films, very important stories and very raw emotion and, and driven by, you know, the human character and the struggles, if you will. Yeah. Why is that important for you as filmmakers? Which, by the way, some up and coming filmmakers you're probably going to hear more from in the future. I'm just going to throw that out there. Well, why is that important for you? I think both scripts were written, the writers took from their personal experience and their personal life and what they wanted to talk about and communicate, you know? So mm -hmm. that's what filmmakers do. They they take their purpose and what they want to create on and they create a film and they can, you know, you know tell the story to the world. The story to the world and filmmaking is the best medium for that. So if it's personal to you, if you care about it, that's the best way to go because you're going to make something that you really want to make perfect. Well, let's talk feedback too as far as the film festival. Oh, it was Audiences great. loving yeah. it. Yeah, they loved it. It was, it was yeah. a blast to see. It's fun watching a movie with an audience, you yeah. know. I it's bet. Just, yeah, Does it make you nervous? Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, sweating the entire time. Yeah. Because <laughs> you're going to get that director action. Well, yeah. again, thank you. Please come back next year. Absolutely. Hopefully, some more of your films will be featured. Definitely. Yeah. 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 Absolutely.